Hello friends, in this video I am going to talk about continuously variable value duration or CVVD. So let's have a look into it. Let's start. If you are not an expert of internal combustion engines, first you need to learn how an internal combustion engine works. I am going to explain it that. As the name implies, there are four stroke suction, compression, expansion or power and finally the exhaust stroke. In suction, the air will be injected, then the air will be compressed and the fuel will be injected and combustion will occur and the burned gases will be exhausted out through the exhaust valve. The air fuel demand of an internal combustion engine varies with its RPM. To satisfy the engine, we must provide the exact amount of air to produce the peak power for that particular RPM. But in variable valve timing or VVT, we are having a constant valve duration that slide in time to produce or provide a change in valve timing. Most of the engines uses two valve duration, one for low speeds and other for high speeds. For example, 0 to 3000 RPM there will be one valve duration and for above 3000 there will be another one. If we are providing a short valve duration, we won't be able to fill the combustion chamber with enough amount of air to produce the peak power. And if we are having a very long valve duration that extend after the combustion stroke, the air that is inducted into the combustion will uh, combustion chamber will ex escape through those inlet valves. So we will lost um, the air that is inducted into the engine. So we have to provide anywhere in between the short and long period there will be an optimum duration to provide the exact amount of air to produce the maximum power for that particular RPM. So there will be three types of in valve operation VVT which is variable valve timing, VVL which is variable valve lift and VVD which is variable valve duration. If we are able to change these three for every change in the RPM range there will be continuously variable valve timing, continuously variable valve lift and continuously variable valve duration. In variable valve timing which is shown as red in the left side we will have a constant valve duration and we can change the time of valve opening and closing. It is done by using a hydraulic actuator that can tweak the angle of camshaft for providing various valve opening time and closing time according to the rev range of the engine. In VVL or variable valve lift, we will be able to change the curtain area of the valve or the distance the valve travel from the head to the maximum. Open the position. If you are able to provide a higher curtain area, the air can easily enter the combustion chamber and we can avail maximum air for producing maximum power. In this figure, the X axis shows the crank angle or time and the Y axis is the valve lift. Here you can see the low speed mode in the intake valve side. We can provide a low or medium lift to provide higher velocity to the intake air to make more turbulence in the combustion chamber for better combustion. But at a high engine speed, we need higher curtain area for letting more air easily into the combustion chamber for availing more air for injecting more fuel. Most of the engines are able to use the variable valve timing and variable valve lift and they only have two types of valve duration but there is only one engine that is able to provide the continuously variable valve duration and it's the 2020 Hyundai Sonata's engine that is the first production engine with CVVD. In variable valve duration or VVD, we will be able to control the duration of the valve opening or we can change the width of the blue line that is shown on the right side. By using this, we will be able to suddenly close the valve for short duration and we can help the valve open for a long duration. So in CVVT, we will be able to slide the valve profile for changing the opening and closing of the valve. In variable valve lift, we will be able to change the height of the valve open. In CVVD we will be able to change the width of this blue line uh, by using this we can change the duration of the valve. So now this CVVD engine is the result of their 9 years of research and development. It is a purely mechanical made system 
that is able to provide continuously variable hour duration that means it can change the valve duration for every change in the rpm range of the internal combustion engine it is able to provide very long duration for satisfying the engine at very high rpm and it can also provide very short duration for satisfying the engine at lower rpm it uses an additional linkage mechanism behind the valve train for providing this variable duration it seems little complex but it is purely mechanical made so the failure will be only due to the mechanical failure of these segments so these are made through various simulations so we can expect high reliability from this so in the actual performance we need to look after the continuously variable valve duration help us to make a variable cycle engine which is able to operate in miller cycle auto cycle and atkinson cycle too with a very short valve duration we will be able to operate the engine in miller cycle by providing less amount of air that is getting injected into the internal combustion engine normal duration for auto cycle and we will be able to provide atkinson cycle with a long valve duration where we can reduce the dynamic compression ratio of the engine if you learned about continuously variable valve duration in this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get updated in the automotive well hit the bell icon to get notified when i make a new upload thank you for watching have a nice day and bye